Good morning students. We will move on to the next portion. That is image formation by a plane mirror. So this was supposed to be studied uh, be, uh, after regular reflection. Now we will move on to the image formation by plane mirror. See, there is a figure given in your textbook. The figure has some figure as, uh, um, states about the image formation by a plane mirror. That is PQ is a plane mirror. See, in your textbook, there is a correction. Consider that OA and OB. It is not OB. It should be rewritten as OC. So, in this figure, OA and OC are two rays of light. That is, O is a source of light. And from O, uh, two rays are falling on a plane mirror PQ. OA and OC are falling on the plane mirror. So that perpendicular drawn at these two points are X and Y. So the perpendicular drawn at A is X and the perpendicular drawn at C is Y. So the ray of light OA that falls on the mirror gets reflected and the reflected right light is AB. And similarly the ray of light that, that is OC that falls on the mirror from the point C, it is reflected as CD. So the two reflected rays are AB and CD. It falls into our eyes. Now the case is, see, the OA and OC are two lines that falls on the mirror PQ. And AB and CD are the two reflected rays. And if these two reflected rays are extended backwards they meet at a point i the reflected rays a b and c d are moving backwards are supposed to move backwards and they meet at a point i this point you will get the image of that object so o is the point source of object or point source of light and here i is the image of this o this is how image is formed in a plane mirror. See, since the ray of light do not actually meet, it is a virtual image. And the main uh, characteristic is the distance from the mirror to the object is the same as distance from the mirror to the image. And since it is, it only seems to meet, this image is a virtual one. So there are certain questions given there. The distance, distance from the mirror to the object and the image from the mirror is the same. Is the same. You have to write there is the same. The distance from the mirror to the object and the image from the mirror is the same. Is the image real or virtual? Image is virtual. What about the size of the image? The size of the image is the same as that of the objects. So this. So the characteristic of image formed by a plane mirror are first one, the image is a virtual one. The image has the same size of the object. The image will be erect one and the distance from the Mirror to the object is the same as the distance from the mirror to the image. These are the characteristic of the image formed by a plane mirror. Next topic is another interesting one that is multiple reflection and image formation. So multiple reflection and image formation. The next video that I am going to give you will uh, show you how image is formed when two mirrors are two plane mirrors are arranged in different angles. So the thing that you have to study here is the number of images formed when two plane mirrors are arranged is n is equal to 360 by theta minus 1. n means that is the number of images. Theta is the angle of angle between the two plane mirrors. That is if two mirrors are arranged at an angle 30 degree between themselves. That is, a, that is the angle between two plane mirrors at 30 degree. 
then the number of images form can be found out by 360 by 30 minus 1. What is 360 by 30? 360 by 30 is 12. 12 minus 1, 11. So if two mirrors are arranged at an angle of 30 degree, then 11 images will be formed. So the next video that I am going to give will make it clear how images are formed. So this is all for today. Thank you.